What's up, Aries? How's it going? Welcome to your singles reading for mid-February. Thank you guys so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right, Aries, if you haven't been to one of these singles readings before, they are the shortest readings that I do. What I do here is pull two different people you could be dealing with during this time period. Um, if you are looking for a longer reading, make sure you check out your weekly love readings. Those are a bit longer. If you need a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Everything you need to know to do so is in the description box to the video. You can also feel free to follow me on other social media. I am everywhere under the same name, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. <coughs> okay, here we go, guys. So your first person, potentially a Gemini. We've got double Gemini here with the lovers and the nine of swords. We also have Sagittarius. Um, so this person, they're a divine counterpart of yours and we have a ton. So, you know, it's whatever, but they are one. They are looking for the whole deal. They're looking to settle down. Um, but they've got some emotional issues happening. I don't know what they're going through here. We'll try to find out, but they're having some anxiety, depression issues, some fears surrounding, um, connection it looks like maybe they're afraid to approach you we'll figure it out um but they're also somebody who's been through a lot in their life like and this might be somebody who's been like trying with you for a long time this might be somebody that you know is into you and they just like haven't given up let's see yeah three of swords they're afraid to get hurt they're like really afraid to get hurt Justice Libra. Again, they're looking to settle down like a whole marriage, whole commitment, but they are terrified of getting hurt here, of being betrayed. They have like major trust issues. Chariot, maybe it's a cancer. Um, I mean, they want to move forward. That's their goal. But they really have like major, major trust issues. Um, again, they could be at a distance. If they are, though, that's not going to be an issue. They're going to come to you wherever you are. Um, maybe you meet them through travel if you don't know them already. Let's see how you feel about them. How do you feel about this person, Aries? Ooh, you feel like... You feel like you want to keep your walls up. Like you're very guarded when it comes to them. Um, let's see what the outcome is. Should you choose to deal with this person? What is the outcome for you and this person? Oh, well, it's love. It's all the love. It's emotional availability, emotional maturity, um, following your heart. Let's get you a time frame. When is this going to be happening for you, Aries, if it hasn't already happened? <laughs> five freaking days <laughs> okay well that's quick five days all right um let's get to this next person so this person is potentially an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn and this looks to be somebody you already dealt with this is somebody that um maybe is an ex of yours or maybe it's just somebody that you ghosted or ghosted you trying to come back so this is like they might be regretting something that they did to you, with you, um, maybe it's just that they didn't even say anything about how they felt in the past. So now they're trying to be like more optimistic, kind of let go of anything that happened in the past, clear the air. And it, so if this is a person that was like non-committal in the past, they've grown up a lot. Like if you've dealt with this person already, I don't know what they were like back then, but this person right now currently is very stable, very trustworthy with this King of Pentacles. Um, definitely commitment-minded as well. And judgment. Yeah, this is somebody wanting a second chance with you. Again, doesn't necessarily have to be an ex, could just be somebody that you dealt with in the past or you could have dealt with and it just ended up not going in that direction. Um, let's get another one. 
Nine of Wands. Again, you've got the Nine of Wands on both sides here. You've got some people, Aries, that like have not given up on you. This person has not given up on you. <laughs> Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, if I didn't say that already. Double Taurus over here. And the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> right. If they were non-committal before or there was something about them that just felt unstable, it's not the case now. This is them actually offering you long-term stable commitment. All right. Um, how do you feel about this person, Aries? How will you feel about them? Oh, you feel like you're willing to put in the work, but you think that it's a lot of work and you're afraid that, it, that it's just going to be a lot of repetitive shit. Like you kind of feel like maybe they're not going to be any different. I don't know what they were like before again, but currently very stable, very commitment minded. All right, let's get you an outcome. Should you choose to deal with them? <laughs> eight of Pentacles, isn't that funny? Back to back Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, it's it's moving towards commitment, moving towards stability. This is this is double Virgo energy, by the way. Um, but it is going to be work. It's not going to happen overnight. Let's get you a time frame. When is this person going to show up for you? When are you guys going to connect? Let's see. Six days. So that's funny. We have five days here, six days here. Maybe it's the same person. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You guys take care.